So you have a custom water cooling loop, but your CPU temps are still high? Well, before trying this, make sure that there is nothing else that can cause some issues, like bad applied thermal paste, kinks in the tubing, or maybe low pumps RPM. If it's still not solved, go ahead and do this. First off, I've done some tests with an ambient temperature of about 22 degrees Celsius, and at idle, the CPU was sitting at 38 degrees, with the fans set to 800 RPM. Then, in idle 64, the CPU reached the max temperature of 83 degrees, with an average of 74, and in Cinebench, it got to a max of 74 degrees, with an average of 71, with the fans set to 1600 RPM in both tests. Now, let's get to the reparation part. For the tools you will just need an allen key or a screwdriver to open the water block. First you will have to drain the loop, I've already done a video on how to do it which you can check out right here. Then put some paper towels to protect the PC from leaks and you can now start and screw the block. Now clean it from the thermal paste with a microfiber cloth and alcohol and screw the fittings and disconnect the tubes. Now start removing the screws or the nuts that hold the water block together. Now you can't really see it through the camera, but my block was very clogged up. So now take a plastic container and put the dirty block parts in and submerge them in alcohol for 15 to 20 minutes. Then get a can of compressed air and blow through the thins. But if it's still not enough, take a razor blade and go very gently through the thins. After you see that it's all clean, put the block together again. Screw back the fittings and apply new thermal paste on the CPU and screw the block in. And so how did it impact on temperatures? The idle temp now is 31 degrees Celsius, so we dropped a good 7 degrees. In IDA64 the max temp was 75 degrees Celsius with an average of 67, which means that we dropped 7 degrees on average and 8 on the max temp. And we also saw improvements in Cinebench, dropping 6 degrees on the average and the max temps. So if the video was useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get a notification when a video is uploaded and I will see you in the next one.